Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. All right, it is hot as hell here. All right, 110 yesterday. I don't even know what it is today. My air conditioner is not able to really keep up with this heat and um, just feeling kind of sick. Uh, yesterday, uh, I got a little bit of food poisoning. I uh, definitely have not recovered from that. I just feel gross and sick. Um, but I wanted to get a reading in. So I pulled out all of my cards from my truck since I did pack them up because of all the fires that are around here. And as you um, already know, if you've been following me, um, my house burnt down in 2018. And so I'm very sensitive to the fires around us and try to pack up the things that are most important to me um, as quickly as possible and I'm not waiting to the last minute and I am harassing all my friends and family and loved ones constantly about fires that are around them uh, they're probably hating it at this point but you know what I really don't care so <laughs> well, let's see what we have to offer today so I'm gonna spray the grounding spray. Okay. I'd like to invite in the angels of loving nature to guide us for this collective reading. Let me be a clear and open channel for the messages coming through. what resonates and leave the rest. <sighs> Alright, I just feel really sick right now. Alright, so let's see if we can clear some of this energy. Um, these are some stickers and um, so this candle was a gift for my sister. I just had a birthday. I'm 45 years old now. Uh, 45 years worth of wisdom I'd like to share with all of you and uh, these were gifts so this candle and the tie-dye and the stickers were from my sister so we have what the cluck peace and awesome possum I just wanted to you know, throw up there um, and then I did have recently just gotten all these beads. I kind of wanted to show you guys. I feel like they have some really good energy to them. I'll be making some jewelry with these in the near future. But I just think they're really pretty. We have the evil eye, we've got some pearls. Um, we have the or, or <laughs> Riala Borealis. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, obviously. What's it called here? Let's see. The Black Aurora Borealis. Okay. Got some mushrooms. And this is some serpentine jasper. Aqua. It is dyed. I don't really like that these are dyed. I try to stay away from those as much as possible. 
um, and have natural stones, but that's what they had. So anyway, this is kind of the energy I'm feeling right now in my life. Got this reggae colors here, regular green. This is something that um, those of you who know me from junior high um, was a very big part of my life. And I used to braid my hair and put beads in my hair, the red, yellow, and green. Um, some people would make fun of me because of it and would tell me that I wanted to be black and that's why I was doing it. Um, and I'm definitely not opposed to that, um, but kids are just mean. Um, they were saying it in a negative way, not a positive way, and you know what? To each your own, right? You know, whatever feels good to your soul, how you represent yourself, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about what other people say. Okay. Oh man, I really just feel like crap right now. <sighs> All right, spirit, please guide this collective reading. What do you want us to know? 24, new birth, guarded, big, big allality. I feel this is a strong feeling of um, growth, right? This transformation. <laughs> Even in her face here, she does look like she's not feeling too great. Like she's feeling a little ill. <clears throat> Six is about harmony. Twenty-three. Defend to the end the worthwhile. You know, so I was just talking about like defending yourself when people are trying to attack you or bully you about something that you do for yourself. Right? It even looks like she's been crying and her makeup is smeared. Looks like she's got a little bit of a lazy eye. Okay, this is about change. 23 is a 5. It's about changes. <clears throat> I feel like there's two here. Yeah. Let's move these over. We have 26. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. And she's got all this light swirling around her here. She is naked. She is vulnerable. Um, I feel like the divine is really taking over at this point. And this is an eight. So this is infinity. Uh, this is about mass manifestation. Um, bringing things to light. And we have 32, faith in the process. This is also a five. So we do have a lot of change going on right now. She's sitting in this wagon that says faith on it. It's the only thing that has color. It's red. There's some birdies here. She's praying. She's also naked. And I, I feel like this is about letting the vine guide you and you just need to sit and relax and meditate she even looks like she's sweating here right and i'm telling you how hot it is here 110 um the trailer air conditioner cannot keep up i just want to take off my clothes but i am ready for the messages that are coming through even though uh, the sickly feeling is just overtaking my body. Right? And I, I, there's so many things that I want to get done, yet I feel so hot and gross and sick. 
and I don't want to move and I don't want to do anything and I just want to get rid of this headache and this stomach ache. Um, so I need to just let divine kind of take me, right? So if you just sit and relax, take care of your body, take care of yourself, you know, nurture yourself. You know, she's wrapped up in a blanket here. And then we have the owl, which is about endings and new beginnings. It's about death and rebirth. You know, we're in a transformation point right now. For growth. To move on to another feeling in our body, in our soul, in our minds. Okay. Empress, Moon, and Six of Pentacles. I really feel that you need a lot of assistance in where you are going here. That you need to collaborate with others. Um, let others help you. And whatever it is that you're going through right now. We have Scorpion Energy. think of what the Empress energy is. I can't remember exactly. I feel it does kind of have a, a cancer type of energy to it because of this nurturing and taking care of others. Um, taking care of your elders that might not feel so well. Uh, there's a lot of nurturing here. Love and respect. But I do think the Empress um, is Taurus. I don't even know where my notes are. I think they're they're packed up somewhere. So, you know, <sighs> things that are packed away that you can't see. Something about taking care of your body, you know, things that are inside of you, the things that you're eating, things that you're eating. Here we also have, uh, you're kind of bleeding here. Looks like there's a bunch of clamshells here that are walking behind this walrus and this person. And this person looks like they are, uh, they almost look like they are a chef. They have an apron on and they are talking to this walrus who is in a business suit. Looks like they are maybe talking about their feelings or giving some sort of advice or getting some advice, right? You have some decisions to make uh, which one are you going to eat? Are you going to eat them both? Which one looks better to you? Um, I just was talking about the food poisoning that I had. Make sure you're inspecting your food well. Uh, I'm not sure what was going on with that. I think it was the cheese that we ate. And um, because it is so hot in this trailer, yeah, it is hard to keep it cool in here that maybe my refrigerator isn't working very well. It's not keeping it cool enough. Um, Cause I don't feel like it was really all that old. It didn't look like it had any mold or anything on it. Uh, my husband did say it was a little soft. So um, they were sticking together. So I do feel like, um, yeah, you know, he was even inspecting his food here and all their faces look a little worried about, oh gosh, should I be eating this? You know, they're out in the sun here. Uh, food shouldn't be sitting out for very long. You know, once it hits that four hour point where it's been sitting out, you know, especially with um, the 4th of July just passed. When you have parties and you have food sitting out, it really shouldn't be sitting out for longer than four hours.
you know, we even have, you know, like, we have the clams walking here, you know, a lot of people have sensitivities to uh, seafood and just um, shelled seafood in particular. So really watch what you're eating to take care of your body. the three of wands page of wands death and the three of swords okay this feels like the rabbit is maybe waiting for the ship to come in and is standing on the shore here to greet these others who are coming in Right, and um, this kind of has the same feeling too, a little bit of like waiting for someone, uh, maybe trying to decide what the timing is to move on, which way to go. Hmm, like we're thinking here, hmm, where am I gonna go from here? Stand and uh, kind of look at the opportunities that are going on which way you need to go you're in this like dry desert here but it's very nice and wet and green over here waiting for this to come in right waiting for it to cool down and we have the uh the drink me and the eat me right and it looks like she did drink this potion here um, because there is nothing taken out of this cake but this is um, toppled over and nothing is spilling out so really need to look it up on like which one is which here uh, if the eat me drink me let's look that one up um, the death card. All right, so feel like death right now my body just ugh, I can't seem to like recover all right so the death through the looking glass in through the looking glass the Tweedle brothers tell Alice that she is merely a thing in the Red King's dream and that if he woke up she would disappear. Which is, uh, this is really um, resonating with me right now because I've been having a lot of crazy dreams. Um, you know, nor normally I partake in a little bit of Mary Jane and I have stopped smoking for a while here and I have a lot of vivid dreams. I, um, see things a lot more vividly now whereas if you're smoking it a lot uh, you might not be dreaming at all or dreaming a little bit but now when I stop every time I stop it, they, they become very vivid and crazy it's almost like watching a movie um, if that their king was to wake added Tweedledum you'd go out, bang, just like a candle. In Wonderland, when Ellis is waiting to see the effects of having drunk the liquid in the bottle marked Drink Me, she wonders how small she will become. So this is what I've been trying to figure out, is when you drink the potion, you become smaller. When you eat the cake, you become bigger. So uh, I feel like we're becoming smaller here 
and kind of disappearing, right? There's some sense of ourselves that is um, shedding itself. Uh, F for it be, I don't know what that means, F in parenthesis here, or it might end, you know, oh, for it might end, you know, said Alice for herself, in my going out altogether like a candle, I wonder what I should be like then. So what are you transforming into? And she tried to fancy what the flame of the candle looks like after the candle is blown out, for she should, could not remember ever having seen such a thing. Right, like how the smoke billows when you blow out the candle and what it looks like, maybe what kind of shapes it, it forms. Those of us who work with these cards take special pains with the death card. We say it rarely foretells actual physical death. And in my experience, that is true. However, it is a strange state of affairs that we will, that we who seek, <laughs> welcome to the one who seeks, to see the future, prefer to ignore the only prediction that we can be sure will come true. Everyone dies. However, tarot is a language of symbols and metaphors, so we dig deeper and face some truths. That may be harder than the physical death, the death of the self or our current reality as we know it. Reality, we know, is not an absolute, being built on our limited human per perceptions and communally agreed upon ideas. Right, society. We rely on our predictions, our social contracts, our reason, our experiences to create a picture of reality through which we move as we live our daily lives. All that we bring to our concept of reality creates a light, like a candle flame that allows us to function. Sometimes that flame is extinguished. It is, after all, a delicate thing needing just the right amount of air to fuel to stay alive. Once that particular flame is gone, even if we relight that same candle, it will never be relit much in the same way that we can never step into the same river twice because it's constantly flowing. That's because when we step into the river or relight the candle, we are not the same people. Metaphorical death is like the flame that illuminates a reality bringing, being blown out. All that remains, at least for a moment, is darkness. There is nothing in that darkness save what we bring. There is nothing in that darkness save what we bring to it. We exist for a time with our fears and our hopes, forced to see them not in a clear light of civilized reality, but instead only sense them, imagine them. Our eyes adjust and might see differently, noticing aspects that the light hid in the shadow or ideas too shy to show their faces. When the candle is relit or the lights come on, we are changed. And so is the world around us. Right? Just like right now, I have this light on because all my windows have shades on them. They have this foil shade that's supposed to keep the heat out and keep it cooler in here. And so I can't open any of my windows to bring in light. And I have all my plants in here and they're kind of starving for light at this moment. And so I have this light on me and it's like, in my face and super bright and it feels hot you know I like it's making me warmer than I want to be and we have 111 here which is a significant number that pops up for me a lot so you know if you're seeing 111 a lot that could be very significant for you okay down the rabbit hole in a reading death means that something has ended and after such a loss Nothing will ever be the same again. 
I read once about the village. I read once about the village where when somebody died, everyone in the village changed something about their house or yard in solidarity with the bereaved family, noting that their world is no longer the same as it was. We like to assign good or bad to experiences. It is human nature. With the experience of death, we should resist this temptation. Death is a part of life and is neither good nor bad. If there is any goodness or badness, it is in how we experience and relate to death. All right, so changing the way you think of death, um, you know, if you're afraid of it, maybe welcome it, right? Because you are going to move on to another realm of the universe and continue on living. And it's just that, um, that butterfly of your caterpillar turning into a butterfly metamorphosis uh, transformation that we just become something else. All right, death, rebirth, endings, mortality, loss, change, failure, destruction, severing ties, transitions, transformation, an horrible force and illumination. Right, and there is a lot of, um, you know, it feels like illness, right? This illness can cause a death and we're just becoming smaller here in this heat, like it's shrinking our souls. <laughs> like I really feel this, like it is shrinking me. It's making me stop in my place and not able to move forward or grow um, in any kind of way because I'm just stuck, right? And then we have the three of swords, which is about heartbreak. Right? And when there's a death, there is heartbreak. And um, a lot of times people will bring you food, right? If there's a death in the family and you're having this kind of visual for the person who's died, people will bring food to you, uh, knowing that you were not able to take care of yourself at this point because you are in this state. Oh, see, and right now I feel like I, I have this strong feeling I just want to throw up. Um, I might have to take off and go do that. Um, I am so hot. I feel sweaty. I stink. I feel like I can't escape from here. Uh, I have my dog with me. And I don't ever want to leave him in this trailer by himself. In case this air conditioner decides it just wants to quit because it's working so hard because it's been in the hundreds plus for the past like week and a half, two weeks already. And it's gonna continue for the next week or so. Um, I don't know, you know, how much longer it's gonna continue, but I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. And um, I'm really afraid for the life of my dog. And, um, you know, I'm looking for a job, but at the same time, it's kind of holding me back because I don't want to go get a full-time job or even a part-time job and have to travel somewhere, maybe even 45 minutes to an hour away to where I can't get back here or I don't know that this air conditioner is going to shut off and it's going to transform everything that's in here and cause death, right? Because it's going to become so unbearably hot in here and I can't even just leave the windows open because it's so freaking hot outside. So I do feel like maybe there's a death of someone, one of your loved ones, and you are having these gatherings of taking care of other people in your family and your friends, and you know, you have this very strong sense of not feeling good. 
and this other person who has died is moving on to something else, right? And there's a big transformation here. Screen here. Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. You know, and this could be a, a literal physical death, or this could just be like a death of your your soul, right? Your spirit, um, the way you feel about things in the world. Um, you know, switching from one career to another, or uh, maybe having different hobbies or something, right? So she's talking about having the beats and making things, right? And, uh, you know, I've been trying to get my career going in interior design for so freaking long, and it's just to the point where I'm just blowing out that candle and scratching it and let's just move on to something else right so maybe that's something that's going on with you um getting creative drawing up plans you know and having all these different steps here in your thumbnails and how things grow right like an architect will draw things out like this and it starts out with a basic plan and as you start to grow it, it becomes very detailed, uh, articulate. It, it grows into something completely new and spectacular. Something that you feels good to you. Something that resonates with you personally, right? Which is going to create the sun here. Um, in this, depiction it looks like okay there's a big wall here and um might have something to do with tearing down the wall that wall that you built around you to protect yourself is no longer needed um some flowers are about new beginnings right and they provide seeds they provide nourishment for you and it, it almost looks like you know we have Maybe like, um, I feel like these are two sisters and this is somebody's child and they are having to have a conversation with this child about this death and um, explain to them what has happened to this person, right? This could have been a parent to this, this child. And now these sisters need to take care of this child. And life is going to change dramatically for this child. And even for these sisters, right? Because they're the loss of whatever happened. Now somebody else has to take care of the responsibilities that were left behind, right? And I have a strong sense of protection here, um, guarding yourself um, and sitting in the garden to have this conversation. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands. This is about movement. You know, we have the Knight of Swords as well. So we have two two actions of movement and moving forward, but these ones are actually kind of facing each other, just like these women are facing each other. So you need to take movement towards each other instead of away from each other. Don't seclude yourself, right? Have the courage to move on, uh, build that fantasy. What are your passions? What, what's in your mind? What are your desires? to help you move forward or help you move towards these other people. Um, what is that thing? Are you becoming this architect that uh, is building this new life and these new passions, the things that are reeling through your mind to come to others, right? Okay. 
So let's see, uh, what are these passions, these new passions that you're moving towards to be? Oh my God, there's so many here. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll take it. <clears throat> here we have driver, navigator of journey, steering, safe passage, welcome. All right, drive safely. You know, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, which way are you going to go? This, this wall here, which is safe passage. What drives you? Ah, chef, <laughs> right? And like I was saying, you know, all this food here, this guy looks like a chef, culinary uh, maestro, cooking, culinary artistry, seasoning and proficiency. You know, baking something new, uh, cooking something new, cooking something up, uh, eating right. Educator, uh, imparter, mentor, guide, teacher. Right, learning new things, right? Like, I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. Definitely not a chef. I barely even like to cook anything. Um, so I would have to be taking some sort of lessons or I need to pull out my uh, recipe book to um, come up with new exciting tastes and flavors for me to enjoy instead of the same old boring thing that we make all the time um, or you know things that are healthier for your body that you need to educate yourself on like how do I get rid of this headache how do I get rid of my stomach ache? How do I get rid of my inflammation? What is it that I can eat that's going to help me in the long run? All right, detective, navigator of truth. Sleuth, clues, uh, pursuer, truth unveiled. So, you know, looking for those clues. You know, cake is not healthy for you to eat. <laughs> so much sugar in there. It's not, it's sugar helps to feed cancer, to help feed diseases. And it's literally in everything. It's all in our food. So you really need to educate yourself about that and maybe have, um, grow a little bit more of a passion for it. And really look at the ingredients of what you are eating and what it is doing to your body and a lot of these ingredients that they're putting in our food in the, in the U.S. here um, are chemicals. Uh, mo most of the so-called foods, which is not really food, uh, have so many chemicals in them, right? Woo! Jumpy. All right. Spirit, just give me a little bit of clarification on this reading for the collective. Okay, my magnitude of power is in the now. Right, right now. It's madness to freak out about the future because it hasn't happened yet. It's not guaranteed. What happens if you shift your focus to the power you have in each moment? Steps turn into miles, which turn into globe trotting, right? And we just had that. The steps here of the drawings of the architect. Uh, it looks like he's doing a stage here, you know? Uh, maybe becoming, doing something um, with drama, right? So steps become into turn into miles, which turn into globe trotting. Kisses turn into sexy time, which turns into babies. Words turn into pages, which turn into novels. Notes turn into songs, which turn into symphonies. Go slow, steady with your intent. If you really understood the enormousness of your power, you wouldn't be scared of shit. Right? So... 
don't worry about the future. Just take the baby steps that you need to take right now. It doesn't all need to be done all at once, right? There, there's the steps here. There's the steps when you, when you take your journey. There's each step that gets you closer to where you want to be. All right, release that fear. Get rid of that shitty feeling that you have. All right, and take the power. Jump out. All right. Uh, I welcome and expect magic, miracles, wizards, and source into my life. Many illusions within this world have taught you that you are realistic if you doubt magic. Miracles, wizards, and source. But the truth is, you are realistic only if you expect magic, miracles, wizards, and source. And what you expect, you shall have in abundance. It's time to give you that wand a twirl. So, um, this is like Harry Potter, right? Whatever they say, uh, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Um, it's Cinderella, but your mindset on how you think about things and, um, you know, what is reeling in your brain is really going to affect the magic that comes out of that. So it's time to shift your perspective and really start to believe in this magic. Okay, because that's really what's realistic because society has really taken us away from experiencing magic. It, it puts you in a cage and makes you feel ill um, it makes you feel like you're in a cage, that you're tied up, that you're never going to get anywhere because of the expectations of others and society and government and how they're trying to control us, right? We need to release that. Everything that we were taught in school, I feel like is bullshit, right? It's just bullshit. And they're teaching you things that really don't matter. You know, some of it does. I'm not saying all of it's bad. Um, I definitely believe in education and learning new things, but maybe not in so much the structure that has been taught to us. You know, uh, school is really designed for you to uh, bow down to authority, to follow certain rules, um, they designed it more for certain types of jobs and it doesn't really apply for everything, especially since we should be becoming more creative in our lives. We, you know, uh, school has been getting rid of arts and music for such a long time and we've been struggling to keep that in our curriculum when really... I feel like that's what we should be focusing on the most, right? So uh, society is like, I feel like it's always the opposite of what we really should be doing. So twirl that wand and make that magic happen. I lead the best fucking life ever. This was on the top of the deck and um, I wanted to pull it out immediately and here it is popping up again. Okay, when I didn't take it immediately because I felt like because it was swearing in the card that YouTube might not really like that right or somebody watching this might not like that but it did pop up again so that is really where we need to be and not be pushing that away right because that's an expression Okay, while well, you should always live your best life, what happens if you lead others to discover their best lives too? Your energies and positive momentum combined into abundance, 
tornadoes ripping through and destroying Depression Avenue, Resistance City, and the almighty United Procrastinations. Doing what you love births the divine through you, and healing others discover what they love births dignity throughout the galaxy. Generosity always shakes the tree of prosperity. You were born to lead the way, right? So here we have ripping through the depression, right? Because there was this depression of this death that needed to be resolved and talked through. And we are moving forward and we're, we're ripping through that. Okay, really support others in what they're doing in their journey and not tearing them down. Okay, leading the way, leading to something new, um, you know, different structures. And not ignoring it and not pushing it away because you feel like somebody else is not going to agree with it. Okay. So uh, that is our reading. I uh, thank you for being here. At one who seeks, I appreciate all your love and support and follow your dreams. Okay, I'm going to turn off this light and um, we're gonna watch the smoke of this candle going out and the death of this flame. Okay, and see what it is that you see. That light went out. It's going to become dark but something is going to be reborn from that darkness. As that smoke dissipated, I could see the solidity of the candle that did not burn and had not melted yet on that side where it looks, it's just white and it's kind of yellow where it did burn. And it kind of reminds me of like a crescent moon. So maybe by the next crescent moon would be your timing here. There are a little bit of bubbles bubbling here inside. It's right inside here. I don't know if you can see that. And I also do see through the camera lens, through my mirror, there is a little bit of shadow. Where is it on this side? Which I can't see from my perspective, but I can only see it through the mirror. Uh, reminds me of the Matt Michael Jackson song the man in the mirror, asking them to change their ways, right? Which is a very significant song for me personally, because I remember singing that song over and over again with my cousins in the back of the car while my aunt was driving us around. All right, so maybe go um, listen to that song right now, The Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Okay, so there is some sort of um, a shadow aspect going on here and perspective of things that are unseen to you but are seen to others by looking in the mirror and seeing it in another way, looking at yourself in another way. Okay, and then when I relight that candle it's going to be reborn into a new flame. It's going to form uh, new aspects of the wax and melt maybe a little bit more of that wax or maybe not. Maybe it's only gonna melt one side, but that shadow is gonna go away because it's going to be illuminated. Hey, I love you all. 
Thank you for being here, One Who Seeks. Go to uh, onewhoseeks.info for swag. Um, I have been working on creating some pretty cool images with AI, even though I, you know, I've been really against AI, but uh, it's really actually quite fun to play with AI images. It's, it is about using your intuition and you have to write out what it is that you want or submit a picture to create a new picture, but you still have to write a description. So whatever it is in your intuition of how you're telling this AI to create this image, it's going to create something spectacular um, and fun and something that maybe you yourself may have never been able to draw out or paint on your own, but it's part of something that you have created right so instead of just continually rejecting it i'm kind of embracing it a little bit um and i am using it to create new swag so i've got fanny packs i've got um what do i have <laughs> sweaters i have blankets all kinds of different things and i'm creating new ones all the time with these ai images of my one who seeks woman logo right and some other images might be in there too i can't even remember i'm just you know continually taking that step by step learning new things and creating something different and a little bit more exciting and fun and vibrant with color uh that i wouldn't have been able to create otherwise you know but was in my head something that i had dreamed up that i can visualize personally but trying to figure out how to share that with you and the world at large. Okay, so go check that out. And if you want a personal reading, uh, they're also there. I am in the beginning stages, so I my prices are really low. Uh, I think it's like 1111 for a 15 minute reading. So, um, you know, pretty cheap and uh you, you can get that there so uh, please go check it out um let me know how you feel about it what you know put in the comment what you think uh, i am curious as to what all of you want to hear about what kind of things you want to see when ordering swag what kind of um materials are more useful to you would you prefer to have a blanket would you prefer to have a, a pillow or a sweater or maybe a journal i do have journals there too so um go check that out please 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 support me support this channel like share subscribe and um i will see you on the next reading thank you love you I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.